Hey, what's up you guys, it is Troy Sivan, and a couple of months ago, I made a video for World AIDS Day talking about HIV AIDS and safe sex with a brand called Someone Like Me, which is backed by Durex. And I did it because I felt like it was a very important conversation that I needed to have with you guys. I learned a lot. I hope you guys learned a lot. It just got me thinking that I have an amazing opportunity by having such a young audience that I would really like to start talking about issues that affect young people more often. And so I took this idea of a series called Oak Conversations with Troy. Wah. I'm hoping to get a cool intro. You'll see in about 30 seconds, I guess. But I took this idea to make a six part series with them where basically I just make six videos around issues that affect young people on a daily basis, whether it's bullying or, you know, identity, which is what we're gonna talk about today, like LGBT identity and, and coming out and everything like that, or if it's about safe sex or whatever it is. I just wanted to make a series and basically start an open conversation with me, you guys, and the guys that someone like me who are there to constantly help you and answer questions. And I'm just, I'm really excited about this whole relationship that we're about to start because we're all about to go on a huge learning curve. So today is the first video in the series of, roll the intro. And today, as you can see by the title, we are going to be talking about basically coming out part two. So obviously like in 2013, I made my coming out video and it completely changed my life. And I get messages every single day telling me how that video has helped a lot of you guys come out or just how it's made you guys feel a lot more comfortable about yourselves and everything. And I basically wanted to pick up where I left off and explain what happens after coming out because I feel like not enough people talk about that. And there's basically a lot to say that I, I just haven't said on YouTube. First, let me preface by saying that coming out is 100% without a doubt in my mind the best decision that I've ever made in my entire life. I'm extremely blessed that I have such a great family and great friends and great support system and I come from an awesome community that's been super super supportive and and I have you guys and you guys have been absolutely incredible about it and I'm very 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 lucky and I know that not everyone is that lucky but I can only talk about my experiences and so that's kind of what I want to get into is my experience. While saying that I will say and I'm just going to be completely honest the day after I came out the closet was like probably one of the weirdest and worst days of my life. I have never really spoken about this online, but I felt um, like it was just the strangest experience in the world to all of a sudden have everyone in my family and everything know the secret that I had been keeping for 15 years. I felt like really exposed and kind of like dirty and just basically nervous. I felt like it was probably all in my head, but I felt like everyone just had like a million questions and no one was kind of talking about it, but they were, we were all trying to be normal, but trying so hard to be normal that we were really being not very normal. Everyone preps you for that feeling of like the weight lifted off your shoulders, but no one really preps you for like, oh my God, that little thing that I've been like keeping for so long, well not so little thing, but that thing that I've been keeping for so long and been so nervous about, it's out there and kind of, it's all of a sudden everyone else's thing to deal with and you don't, you have a lot less control over it obviously because it's, you know, it's out there in the open and, and that can be an extremely kind of like unnerving experience. But then the next day I started to like immediately feel better and, and we started to just kind of have those awkward conversations that we needed to have and yeah, then everything just started to get way, way, way better. It was, it was literally like a one day thing, but it was just, it was a strange experience that I just wanted to talk about. I'm just really interested to know if you are LGBT, did you have kind of a similar experience? Because for me, that was just a very, very, very weird day. The next thing that I want to talk about is something that a lot of people do talk about. Um, and that is the fact that you don't just come out once, you come out like a million times in your life. I'm lucky that I have YouTube. When I meet someone, they may have seen my coming out video and just kind of like already know and it saves me that awkward moment of having to come out to someone. And I will say that still to this day, it is a scary experience. If somebody, if I'm with someone and they, you know, bring up girls or something like that and clearly don't know, I kind of get in this weird mode where I don't want to embarrass them by like making them feel uncomfortable by telling them and then they're like, oh shit, I'm sorry, you know, but at the same time I feel like I need to tell them because I'm nervous that they're going to maybe like put their foot in their mouth and say something like, you know, homophobic or whatever. So yeah, I, I come out pretty much on like a daily basis, especially writing songs. I go into the studio and we have to write songs and like, how are they supposed to know? They don't know. So. Um, I'll be writing and I'll be like, yeah, and then the person broke my heart and they'll be like, oh, what did she do, man? And I'll be like, oh, no, well, I'm gay, so, bleh. and it's, it's an awkward thing and you have to do it like a million times throughout your life and um, I'd say I'm getting better at it, I'd like to think that I'm getting better at it, but it's still that moment of like, my heart sinking because you never know what the person's reaction is gonna be. I'm definitely a lot better at it now than I was, you know, when I was 15. And also I learned like, kind of casual ways. I'll be like, oh yeah, one time I went on a date with this guy that blah, 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 blah. And that's kind of like, they're like, oh shit, okay, he's not straight. Yeah, that's kind of a skill that I've learned over the years. So I don't know if that's helpful to anyone. The final like thing that I wanna talk about, and again, this is a conversation. I'm not talking at you guys. I really, really genuinely want 
you know, use the comment section to talk to each other and to talk back to me. I'm very, very interested in this because I've only ever spoken to a couple of people about this, but um, I've always felt like there's this weird delay on an LGBT person's life because basically all of my friends got their first boyfriends or girlfriends when they were like 13, 14, they started like kissing people with tongue and it was like this crazy thing that was going on and I was always that mate that was like watching from the sidelines like oh, 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 I kissed a couple of girls when I was like 13 and then I realized that that wasn't what I wanted to do and to be honest that was kind of a painful experience for me. We were, you know, going to house parties and all my friends were just like seemingly having the best time ever and I was like, you know, even after I was out to my friends there would there would be no other out people at a party that I would go to and they would, that was really, really hard. It was a very weird experience to have to just kind of like sit on the sidelines for a few years while I accepted myself, while everyone else accepted me, and then while everyone, you know, that I could potentially like get with or start dating or whatever, while they accepted themselves as well. And it only kind of started to happen. I kind of like went on my first date when I was like 17, when all of my friends had already been like, you know, going out with their boyfriends for a couple years and stuff like that. Like, And so yeah, I felt like there was this huge kind of delay on my life that still affects me to this day. I got in my first real relationship when I was 18. My friends had already been in their relationships for years and years and years. There's this thing in Australia called Leavers and it's where you, when you finish school, you go away with your friends and there's like 10,000 people down south in Western Australia. And um, it's just this big, pretty gross, teenage hookup fest slash like, have fun basically. And um, I, <laughs> maintain that this is one of the sadder things that's ever happened to happen in my life but my best friend Kayla I asked her I like pulled her aside and I was like okay hey, can you please give me a hickey on my neck because I'm so like embarrassed that everyone else was getting with people and was having all this fun and everything like that and I just felt like I was completely like missing the boat and and she did it she was so sweet and I had a hickey on my neck for the rest of the week and it made me feel accepted and it made me feel cool and you shouldn't need to have a hickey to feel accepted and cool but that was just what I needed at the time and um I finally feel like I'm like catching up to people, but it's definitely something that still affects me to this day. So I want to know your experiences with that as well. If you guys could like, yeah, just use the comment section to tell me. Um, that'd be awesome. But yeah, I think that is it. Again, let me reiterate that coming out was like the best decision that I've ever made and I'm the happiest that I've ever been in my entire life. Please, please, please carry on the conversation in the comment section below. I'm also putting someone like me's links in the description so you can ask them the questions that you're far too embarrassed to ask your parents or your friends or your teachers or whatever. Also, just let me know in general what you think of the series. This feels very, very good to me. It feels therapeutic. I'm enjoying it. I can tell them I'm gonna like this. Hope you guys like it too. Alright, cool. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week. Bye.